Graham, let's begin our look back by taking a wee look at the, the alarm game from last week. I, I guess a different type of test against some experienced professionals for a really young Rangers team. It was very interesting for a number of reasons. We um, had the guys fly out on the day. They went to a hotel in the afternoon, had a rest, and then went to the game. So that was new for them. And some of them admitted that they struggled with that part of it. They struggled managing, firstly, their, their psychological part, their arousal, how much they were up for the game at the wrong time. They then struggled to manage their rest and, and get themselves to sleep. Uh, and they struggled then to manage their energy levels, which was really interesting for them. So that's, that's a good reason to do that, first and foremost. Then secondly, to go and play against a men's team that were very well organised and, and, and dealt with our threat because they were very, very well shaped up. Um, it gave them a different number of challenges, physically and tactically. And then playing in front of a crowd. I think this is the main area where we've been deficient in Scotland in, in, in preparing our young players to go and play. Because, let's not forget, we have to prepare players that are going to go and play in front of 52,000 people uh, who are very, very demanding, who have very high standards and expect a certain level. And our players freely admitted that that was a challenge for them. And the more that we can get to do that, um, by hook or by crook, uh, will be better for their development and, and I think that they will only benefit from that in the long run.